Welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at the RGL KPX 1000 standalone keypad. This keypad is a, as I suggest, it's standalone. You just apply power to it. You can locally control locking. It's a pen keypad and it's a proximity keypad. We're going to look at how to add a pin user and we're going to look at how you add a fob. Okay, let's begin. You should be able to hear the keypad uh, beeping in the background as I program into it. So first things first, with all new keypads or any product you buy new, just do a factory reset. Make sure it's um, reset to standard values and the firmware is running properly. So first of all, we get into programming mode, the engineer's mode, by pressing and holding the hash key. The red light comes on. Put in the engineer's code, one, two, three, four. You've got five seconds to do this, so I'll do that again. Press the hash key. One, two, three, four. The green light's on now. I'll press zero. Both lights are flashing red. Put the engineer's code in again. Keypad's reset. It's back into standby mode. And now we're ready to start a new programming sequence. Okay, so now we're set to go. Let's um, add a user. Um, the users are in slots, three digit slots. So user one would be 001, user two, 002, user 450, we user 450, and so on. So let's, uh, let's get into engineer's code and see what we can do. So it's hash. One, two, three, four. Then function seven to add a user. Pick a slot number, 001. Pick a code, 4321. The green LED flickers, it's now solid again. And we can press hash to come out of programming. Now it's just the green LED on. So if I type in that code I just programmed in, both LEDs are on, the relay is clicked, so the door's open. And there we go, user one programmed in using function seven. So we'll do the same again, but this time rather than the code, we're going to use a fob, um, the KP fob from RGL, the standard EM4100 fob. So you can use other brands on this keypad, maybe alarm fobs as well, that some of them, well, most of them should work actually. But we'll stick with the KP fob. So back into engineers, hash. One, two, three, four. Function seven. Pick a, a user slot. We know user one is you, so we'll go user two. And what we do is we get the fob and present it to the top of the keypad in between the LEDs. That's programmed in now. And just press hash again to come out. And test. Let's see if it works. Green, both green lights are on, so the relay's open, doors open. And there we go. Uh, we've added the code, simply enough, and added a user fob. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and project teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.